Hello there, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good also. Alright, so we're going to be doing some more uh, base conversions. Here we're going to be converting the base 10 numbers to base 2 numbers or uh, binary. So uh, let's get started. What I like to do is start off by creating three columns. So let's do that. One, two, three. And this will be your base 10 number, your remainder. And then we're going to write a bunch of twos over here. So this may not be the traditional way you see this done, but I think it is very helpful. So you're going to start by writing off your, uh, writing your base 10 number. So in this case it's 50. And what you're going to do is you're going to divide this number by 2 and record the remainder. And you're going to keep doing this until you reach 0. So let's do that. So how many times does 2 go into 50? 25 times with a remainder of 0. How many times does 2 go into 25? 12 with a remainder of 1. So we keep this process going. 2 goes into 12. How many times? 6 with a remainder of 0. How many times does 2 go into 6? 3. A remainder of zero. Two goes into three one time with a remainder of one. And lastly, two goes into one zero times with a remainder of one. All right. So as I said earlier, you stop as soon as you reach zero. That is our indication to stop. That's a stop sign. So as soon as you reach zero, you are done dividing by two. You're done writing these numbers. So what you're going to want to do is circle this column of vertical numbers and rewrite the numbers backwards. So rewrite this as 110010. And the subscript 2 indicates base 2. So now we can write the whole thing. 50 base 10 is equal to 110010 base 2. And that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. You uh, start off with the number you're given, base 10. You divide that number by base 2 or by 2. And you record the remainder each time. So I did the different colors to indicate where we're going. And let's do the uh, other example, and hopefully it should be uh, straightforward. Okay. So once again, we're going to make three columns. our base 10, our starting value, which in this case is 64, our remainder value, and all of our twos. So let's repeat this process once again. 2 goes into 64 how many times? goes in 32 times with a remainder of 0. 2 goes into 32 16 times with a remainder of 0. So 
So this one wasn't too bad because each number keeps dividing evenly. And see that? It happened again. As soon as we reach, we'll keep dividing, dividing, and then you will eventually get to zero. And when that happens, that is our indication to stop. Stop dividing by two. Circle. Oh, that's a one. Duh. Circle, vertical column. Zero, 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 one. Writing that uh, backwards is one, zero, 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 subscript two. So to rewrite the full conversion, 64 base 10 converted to base two is one, zero, 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 subscript two, which indicates base two and we'll circle our answer. Okay, so hopefully uh, you'll be able to convert base 10 numbers to base two. And I also just real quick wanna show you something. If you saw the other video where I convert, I convert other numbers to base 10. So let's look at it real quick. So the two results we got, we got 50 base 10 is 1100. One zero base two, and our second result was sixty-four base ten is equal to one followed by six zeros and a subscript two. So now, if we want to go backwards, converting these base two numbers to base ten, what we're gonna do is rewrite the number backwards. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And then multiply each number by 2. And we're going to raise 2 to a different power. So we're going to start out raising it to 0 and increase it by 1 each time. And add all these terms. So right away you'll notice the 0 terms immediately are gone. And this becomes 1 times 2, 1 multiplied by 16, and 1 multiplied by 32. Adding these gives us 50, as we would expect. And you'll see the same thing happens when you convert uh, our other result. and going to base 10. So all these zeros will cancel out, but each one, this would be multiplied by two uh, to the zero power. This would be multiplied by two to the one power. <clears throat> and since there's zeros, they'll just cross out. And the only thing we'll have is one times two to the zero, one, two, three, four, five, and finally the sixth power. And two to the sixth power is just 64. So that is how we're able to see that this binary number, binary number converted to base 10 is exactly what we started with. So now I Hope you feel confident enough to convert between base 2 and base 10 numbers. Thank you for watching.